Hello everybody, welcome. This is Caroline at Create Your Future. How's everyone today? I hope everybody had a good week. Um, this week has been very intense. I had a ton of emergency clients calling me, very frantic. So I don't know if it's because we had the eclipse last night or yesterday afternoon actually, but it was really weird energy all week long. So did you guys see the eclipse? Were you able to see it? We didn't have the proper glasses, so we saw, we didn't see it very well. Um, please comment down below if you did see something that was uh, spectacular. All right, so guys, um, I am a coach here. I'm available for one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can find the link in the box below. You click on it and then it brings you to our website. You can sign up for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, um, one-on-one -on -one video coaching. I also have right now all of my hypnosis pre-recorded tracks. They are deep guided meditation. Um, I always say meditation. Deep guided um, relaxations. And they're quite long because there's the induction that really takes you in that zone, that kind of trance, you know, where you are in between sleep and awake. And at that point, then when you're super relaxed, I say a lot of affirmations with a space for you to repeat after me or just repeat in your mind. And in that state of in between, not asleep, but not quite awake, you are imprinting your subconscious mind very powerfully. So all those tracks and the bundles are on sale. So if you want them, also you click in the same link below and you enter the coupon code SAVE50. Um, otherwise, we have all the affirmation tracks, 21 titles, affirmation, rampages, and thoughts transmission tracks. Much shorter, but these, you can play them on the loop and just repeat them while being active. You know, like if you're walking, if you're jogging, if you're working out, if you're cleaning the house, if you're doing an activity that does not require your full attention, then these are very good for you to play because you stay on the one topic and you really saturate your mind with those affirmations. So I have a whole bunch of topics, right? From um, freedom, happiness, money, pregnancy, um, getting an apology, getting engaged, a proposal, getting contact, communication, it, constant communication with your SP, your SP moves mountains for you. I have one, I think that's called I'm a catch, the best year ever. Um, so tons of topics and each one, each of those tracks have 100 to 200 affirmations that you can repeat on the loop and just really stay on that one topic. So then your mind is really into that mode. And with the practice of repetition, you create, as you know, a new belief, which then when it's integrated, it becomes, it becomes second nature and it becomes part of who you are. Therefore, it's you, it's you, who you are. That's your self-concept. It gets pushed out in your 3D reality and this becomes your experience. Um, the hypnosis tracks, the deep guided relaxation tracks, please guys, if you buy them, you do them, you listen to them in a very safe place, laying down on your bed or on the couch, not in a bathtub, not driving a car, right? Why? Because you are so relaxed that you may fall asleep, which is actually perfectly fine. But if you do fall asleep, I want you to be safe. So you're not gonna do, um, you're not gonna be putting yourself in a situation that could be very dangerous, such as being in a bathtub or driving, okay? All right, so yeah, to go back to my week, um, tons of clients calling frantic so like i said might be my um just my story my belief that it has to do with the eclipse and maybe a change of energy um that's that that's mine you know we all have our story and that creates our experiences but i had very intense phone calls this week with a lot of um beautiful amazing clients but in distress so i think that's what we're going to talk about today um, you can be on top of your game with LOA, love attractions and all this, and know how to shift to the 
reality that has everything that you want to experience. So a lot of people, you know, say to me, I know how this works, right? I know how to manifest money. I know how to manifest a job. I know how to manifest a better teacher in school um, or a better school or getting into the program that I want. I mean, everything is working out. There's always this hiccup with SP. So why is that? And what is going on? So to me, when you are so hung up in manifesting your SP, um, and it's not happening and it takes a long time. And maybe um, what I've heard also this week is that people have been able to turn their situation around, bring in their SP, and then chaos happen again and they, they lost contact with the SP or the SP broke up with them or ghosted them or blocked them. And now they're trying again and they're like, well, how come it's not working the second time? It's not working because in my experience, when what I believe is that you're putting so much pressure on yourself, you know, and you're, you're going back to a state where you're comparing yourself to other people, uh, uh, manifestations or to your own in the past. And, and it's like, okay, last time it took me one month to manifest my SP back. And this time it's been one month and SP is still not here. Or maybe it's the first time it happens, but you still have that pressure, that pressure on you. So what I would like you to do is to really, really, really observe what is going on inside of you. How do you actually feel when you think of your SP? And I heard this week, I heard... Uh, a client tell me, well, you know what, when I wake up in the morning, that's the first thing I think about. I think about SP and I I remember what he said and, you know, those words, um, they're crushing. They're crushing, they're traumatizing me when SP says, no, that's it. I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm breaking up. I'm done. I don't even want to talk to you. Please never call me again. I'm blocking you. I'm ghost, you know, and end up by ghosting you. So those words are so harsh. If when you wake up, you think of SP, of course, you because you miss your SP, and that's the first thing you think about. Those words that really, 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 really hurt you and crushed you. Then what happens inside of you? So one particular client, a client, client told me, well, every morning I wake up, I think of my SP, and I want to throw up. This is how anxious I am. This is how devastated I am. I want to throw up. Another client told me that she just can't function anymore. All she does is feel, she feels paralyzed and, and she cries and she cries. And then she really, really hard tried to try to script and, um, say her affirmations. So I've said this before in previous video, but I really want to go back to it because I've seen it so much this week. You, you know, I want you to pay attention to those feelings inside. That extreme anxiety, that extreme despair, that desire, like one of them, you know, to, to, to be, to feel so bad to the point that you want to throw up. Okay. All these are indication, of course, that your state of mind is not on that vibration of I'm vibing high frequency abundance and I always get what I want. And what I want is my SP to be crazy, insanely madly in love with me and to, to, to apologize for whatever he said, or maybe you know, that never even happened. He's back or she's back. And, uh, and, um, we are more in love than ever. And we are now in a really beautiful, fun, committed relationship. You're not vibing at that frequency at this point. So really paying attention to, you know, it, it's actually like a miracle and a gift in, in a sense that we always know where we stand with our energies and our state of mind and our beliefs. When you can measure your level of, um, 
you know, you let, where your feelings are, your emotions, your level of um, anxiety, let's say. Are you at peace? When, okay, when you think of your SP, does it put a huge smile on your face and you feel so happy and content and like, wow, this is great. When I think of SP, I feel good. In my experience, again, and this particularly this crazy week I just had, no. When people think of SP, they have all those crazy emotions like, like paralyzing, you know, this feeling of destruction, rejection. Um, it's not happening. I, I'm, I don't exist in their eyes. They, they hate me. They, they want nothing to do with me. I'm maybe even um, disgusting to them. You know, all these other beliefs that you may have when you think of your SP. Um, one person said to me, when I think of my SP, when I wake up in the morning and even throughout the day, I just see SP very angry face. All right. So really, I, when this happens, I truly honestly believe that it's pointless to throw yourself with your pen and paper, your little book note and start scripting, 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 or um, starting to chant your mantras or your affirmations. No, you have to just maybe look at yourself in the mirror or sit down and be truly, truly, truly honest with yourself. And you talk to yourself. Now you're not talking to SB, you're not talking to anything else, to anyone else. You can pretend you're talking to your best friend. You can pretend you're, you're talking to me as a coach, but, or you just talk to yourself. If you look at yourself in the mirror and say, all right, this is what's going on right now. When I think of SP, I get nervous. I feel rejected. I feel maybe ugly. I feel disgusting because I think that's how they perceive me. I feel like I want to throw up. I've, I'm so nervous. I'm so anxious. I feel desperate. I feel I'm shaking. I, I, so bottom line, you think of SP and it's not a good feeling that indicates your level of vibration in terms of the SP. You're not there. So how can you attract your SP back in your life or simply a put, which, you know, I don't like so much to say attract, but that's just the way I word um, my, you know, my beliefs. I like to say I am in the reality where I don't have my SP. And this is not the reality where I want to continue to, to live. I want to live in the other reality that's really fun, where we are together and where we share everything together and where maybe we're married or maybe, you know, we live together, whatever your preference is. But, you know, the, the reality that feels good when you think of SP. So you just need to shift. All right. How do you shift? No, first... Like I said, you take like this time, but it is a time that don't skip it. A, a lot of my clients like to skip it. They just want to go to the work. Okay, no. If you skip step one, where you self-reflect, um, you're not really going to be really aware what this, you know, what's going on in the situation. And you may stay longer in that unwanted reality. When you're crystal clear, okay, I don't feel good when I think of SP, so I have attached this emotion, all those emotions and all those beliefs to SP. So now the definition of who, who SP is, is that's what it is. When I think of SP, I see this angry look on, on their face looking at me or talking to me, not nice. Um, I, I think of, you know, I feel rejected. I, I feel less than, I, I feel not good enough and certainly not prioritized. So now you, you maybe write it down just once, right? But really kind of, it's like a check. Okay, you check yourself. Where am I today? Where do I stand? When this is done, you just sit back and now you can relax. Take a deep breath. <sighs> All right. What? Now what? 
how does this all work? Okay, I'm a consciousness having a human experience in this body right now for this lifetime. And I am the only one who gets to think in this reality. And everything I think, everything that I believe will put me in a reality that matches my beliefs. So, I believe has a vibration and that vibration, you can measure it with how you're feeling. Okay. So let's say you love where you live. You truly love where you live. Oh my God. My home is so comfortable, so pretty, so beautiful. I love the location. So I feel really good about that. Now you're vibing good good vibes, high good vibes, right? So with that, you are going to, to, to find yourself, just like in a video game, you're going to find yourself in that reality that's good and comfor comfortable and feeling great. Uh, if you want to move, it's, it's kind of a nice thing to say, I feel good, I feel great, I love my home, but now I am living this beautiful place to get to a new and better place. Every time I move, it's even better and better. I don't know how it's possible because I love my place, but yeah, uh, this is my life. Every time I move to a new place, it's better and better. And I'm, I'm always so comfortable and happy and content and fulfilled and satisfied. So those emotions, happy, content, fulfilled, satisfied, feeling good, these emotions have a vibrations and those vibrations will vibe with a reality that you build as a projection, like a hologram, a video game, however you want to imagine it to be, but that's really how it is. And it will bring you in this reality. That's what you're enjoying. So you're aware you milk this good feeling to make it continue. Same thing with a bad feeling. So um, I asked a question uh, with one of my clients, and that was a man, and he said to me, well, I, I don't really know how I feel when I think of, um, you know, uh, of my SP. I'm like, come on, you don't know how you feel when you think about your SP? How can that be? Of course, you know, stop and think. Stop and think. You know, we're in, we're in the habit of being so busy, 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 always listening to YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, or whatever, TV, the chatter around us. No, at one point, you guys, you need to stop and be a little more um, silent and within yourself to pay attention to how you really feel about things around you. That is part of being in the present, in the present moment. Very important because that's where you check yourself and you check your... Um, you check your feelings. So, SP, let's go back. When I think of SP, I'm in agony. I feel not good. I feel rejected. I feel ugly. I feel um, not chosen, not, not prioritized, not loved, not um, worth it. Worth it. Um, I feel less than and... Um, when I picture my SP's face looking at me, I see disgust, I see anger, um, et cetera, et cetera. All that stuff, what is it? I feel bad, I don't feel good. I feel anxious, de desperate, um, super sad. Okay, those feelings, vibe, have a vibration that will be pushed out in your reality. So now you are thrown in that reality where you're not satisfied, you're not happy, and SP is not here. Or if he's here, it's not nice to you. Or she's not nice to you. I'm sorry. I, I often say he for SP. That's because the majority of my clients are women. But I do have a few male clients, and I certainly... Um, and other people who are same-sex relationships. So I, I don't mean to... Um, offend anyone. It's just, you know, it's just because I'm talking fast and know that it applies to everybody and all type of relationships. And again, circumstances never matter. It's just a present moment 
and your feelings. So how do you shift to another parallel reality where you get what you want, you calm yourself down, you check yourself, you go back to that place of neutral. I have other videos, you can watch them where I really talk about getting to that place of neutral. And at this point, you just remember that you are this consciousness and that you will experience exactly the life that corresponds to the feelings, the vibrations of those feelings. So a word, a concept, an SP is a concept, a relationship is a concept, a marriage is a concept. Now, what are your definition of it? Marriage. Some people will tell me marriage is, bl is a bliss. That's what I thrive for. That's what I want. And I know it feels great. It feels good. It feels like you're a team. You have each other's back. You're protected. Maybe, you know, that's just an example. And other people will tell me, no, to me, marriage is seems like a nightmare. It's a prison and I want to be free and get out of it. So we all have a different definition. So when I say marriage, my definition, my vibration of the word is going to be different than for than yours and yours and yours and yours you know what you know what i'm saying we all have we i think we make the mistake to believe that a word only has one definition it, it has one definition because we know what um a, a marriage is or a relationship is but the vibrations that we attach to it is completely different from one person to another or from one moment of your life to another you know maybe 20 years ago you felt one way about relationship and now you feel another which is fine but you check yourself and if you're not getting what you want it's because your vibrations accord uh, um, linked to that to that concept to that is is not vibrating at the frequency that will create or bring you in the reality that you desire so you shift to another reality where you get everything you want by shifting your vibrations uh with of the word so first you bring yourself you know once you have checked yourself and understand what doesn't feel good you bring yourself back to this place of neutral and you talk to yourself and you remind yourself i am the only one here who gets to think i am not depending on my sp's desires because my sp desires nothing is just or she is just a hologram a projection from my mind and my sp is not doing anything right now just waiting for me to assign a role and um assign by my assumption for, from my assumption what my sp is going to do and say so now when you remember and you remind yourself that's how it works and this is how your um you create your life, you create your future, the power comes back to you. So it's not up to SP to, it's not, you know, SP's words and action from that you've, that, you know, hurt you, that will determine what your life is going to be. What determines what your life is going to be and where you stand in every, each moment is your vibrations and you know how you feel good or bad about a certain topic and this is what you are going to experience so once you rem remember all this uh and we have to remind ourselves every you know every once in a while i mean sometimes we get caught up with the circumstances or we get so traumatized and so horrified by by certain things that sp has told us that we can't let go of it well, you don't have to let, you know, really, you, you don't have to do anything because that's a circumstances that you created because you're feeling not good. And so those vibrations brought you in that reality. And right now it doesn't matter because in each moment you are in, you know, you shift realities. So now you are going to be, you want to be in another one where it feels good to be with SP. So what do you do once you you know, back to that state of neutral and, and calm, calmer, much calmer than you were when you were frantic 
frantic uh, when you woke up or, you know, maybe like my client who wanted to throw up. She does want to throw up every morning when she thinks of SP. So now you, when you bring yourself back to neutral and, and you remind yourself of your power, then you write your affirmations, then you can script, then you can affirm, then you can do your rampages. And those rampages, you know, you can make your affirmations and then you add, you add the feeling to it. So I'll give you an example. SP um, is crazy madly in love with me and I feel so good. Today I feel so good. I feel better and better and in each moment. I feel great. I feel satisfied. I feel happy. I feel, um, I feel victorious. I, I feel like I'm in love with life. I feel that life is just amazing. I feel like I'm this vibrant part of life. I am just enjoy li enjoying life to the fullest. And really, that's what I want you to do. Don't wait around for SP to be here and do anything with you. Be part of this vibrant life, all right? So you start um, just, you know, do things that make you happy. And it doesn't have to be crazy, elaborate. Just little things that make you feel good. Little things that make you feel happy. And more and more, you cultivate the feel-good state, the feel-good, um, you know, more than that, just also be part of life, part of this vibrant life, live life to the fullest. Then that's your ener energy, um, the, the vibration, the frequency of the, your vibration. If it's at this level of abundance. So now you become a magnet for more abundance. You become a magnet for fun. You become a, a magnet for being, you know, continuously satisfied and um, feeling good. So what happens? Well, naturally, you are going to see the version of SP that matches this vibration. And now SP reappears in your life and you get what you want. So that means that now you shift it in this reality that... Um, that is satisfying but that vibration i believe needs to come for you so now i know people are going to tell me well you don't have to be super excited and super happy to manifest you can manifest if you're angry and if you're mad yes you can manifest if you're angry and if you're mad but you are going to manifest something that actually is linked to a feeling that feels good. So you can be very angry about something and you want to manifest something, but that thing that you want to manifest has to you a definition of good feeling. That's why you can manifest when you're mad. But when you think of SP and you're so anxious and you feel so sad and rejected, and on top of everything you you want to, to manifest when you're mad, well, it's not going to happen because the feeling attached to your definition of the concept of SP is of rejection. Therefore, that's why it gets pushed out naturally, you know, because what you see in your re reality is you, you, your vibrations. Do, do you see the difference? All right, guys. So um, if you have made it this far and you're still watching the video, please show some love and subscribe and hit that like button if you haven't done so. I intend that you all have an incredible, incredible week and you're all satisfied and happy and things are getting better and better and better every single day. I love you all and I will talk to you next week. Bye.